Hello, sports fans and baseball fans and out-of-the-park fans. It's me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, and I'm here to tell you that the 94 White Sox have made the playoffs, we've won our division, and our first series will be against the Oakland, Oakland Athletics. Um, we had 89 wins, you can see right here, we finished with 89 wins to win the Central Division of the AL. And the Athletics won the Western Division with 85 wins. Um, Detroit won the East. And uh, the wild card, the lone wild card team was the New York Yankees. And, of course, this is back in 1994. So there were only three division winners and one wild card. And so the Yankees are going to play the Tigers. And we are going to start off against Oakland. So, uh, let's take a look, um, at the, uh, well, let's go to, let's go to the manager's office and we can look at some of the, uh, let's see. Well, you got some playoff coverage right here. Um, so game one, it looks like, um, is going to be McDowell against Armano Bo. And now Armano Bo was 10 and 12 with a 530 earned run average for Oakland. And for us, McDowell was 16 and 11 with a 449 earned run average. So um, we're going to play the game. We're going to get into the game. I'm not going to delay this any further. Uh, we are going to get into the game with Oakland. Here you can see the uh, lineups for Oakland. It's going to be Stan Javier leading off and playing center field. Um, Ricky Henderson in left field batting second. Geronimo Barroa is going to be bat third and play right field. Ruben High Sierra will be their DH. Troy Neal will be at first for Oakland. Um, uh, Steinbach will be the catcher for the A's today. Batting seventh will be uh, uh, Brent Gates. I think that's Brent Gates at second. Scotty Brocious will be the eighth hitter. And Salado will be their ninth hitter and playing shortstop. And for your Chicago White Sox. Leading off will be Joey Cora at second base. And this is mainly our main lineup that we've played for a, a lot of most of the year. Um, Darren Jackson in right field. Frank Thomas, the Big Hurt, batting third. Julio, down by the schoolyard, Franco, will bat fourth and play first base. Robin High Ventura is going to uh, play third. Um, uh, Ventura Highway, let's get it right. Uh, Tim Raines Sr., the Rock, is going to play left. Karkovice at catcher. Ozzie Gein batting eighth and at shortstop and... Down here, the made-up guy, Chris Morgan, <laughs> who this year hit 231 for us with five home runs. So that is going to be the lineup. And, of course, like I said, we're going to have Jack McDowell going up against their guy. who's probably a made -up and did not have a good year, by the way. So uh, let's get into it. I'm going to have, uh, I'm going to start off with... Black Jack McDowell. And hopefully we win this game and jump out to a 1-0 lead in this series. That is going to hopefully be an out. Uh, like so, uh, next batter is Ricky Henderson. Tricky Ricky. Yeah, struck him out. Nice. Nice Black Jack McDowell with the strike. And with two down, oh my God, did they do? Did they go deep? No. So thank, you. <laughs> thank you for that. So we're leading off now with Joey Cora. And of course we're home because we had the better record. And Joey Cora, did he go deep? Joey Cora, listen, I don't believe this. Joey Cora with a leadoff home run. In our playoff hit. Unbelievable. Joey Cora. 
I mean, this guy, this Hermano Bo, I mean, he needs to go work for UPS because he just gave up a leadoff home run to Joe McCoy. And maybe uh, Darren Jackson can beat that out. He can. He just puts it in his back pocket. He doesn't even decide to throw it. So there's no outs man at first and the big hurt out. Let's put a big hurt on him. No, that is not exact. Oh, but that's going to be an error on the catcher, though. Oh, my God. Oakland is self-destructing all of a sudden. I mean, well, not really all of a sudden. The game is done. We got two runners aboard with nobody out. And Julio down by the screen. And he's going to rip a single. And that is going to... I'm yeah. Bases are, I don't really like this because the bases are loaded with no out. And I can see us just like hitting into a double play and coming away with only one. But I'll take whatever I can get. Ventura is up. Lefty on righty. And that is going to be a double play. Exactly. exactly what I said. Um, but we did get the second run across the plate. And now it's up to the Rock Rains. And the Rock Rains! No, that's exactly what happened. It always happens. You load the bases, and you have no outs or one out. You can just be a planet coming away with only one more run. But anyway, here's Ruben High Sierra to bat against McDowell, who had a great first inning and now has a 2 0 lead. And that is one out quickly. That brings up Troy Neal in the house. Troy Neal is going to ground out. And uh, Terry Steinbach, here he is, Terry Steinbach, the catcher, poor old man. And he strikes out, and McDowell is having a great, ser uh, great game so far. Great series, but really this is the first game of the series. So Ron Karkovice is up, the home run hitting, power hitting catcher, and he strikes out. He is not much on the average. So. Ozzie Guillen. The shortstop, and he is going to be thrown out. So it looks like maybe we used up all of our magic in the first inning. And we, and now we need McDowell to slam the door. But there is a double in the gap. Double in the gap, man. All right. Is that cool? No, that was our guy. Yeah, that was our made-up guy. Out of the park. But again, I'm just the manager of this team. I say this every game to let you know. I'm just the manager. I'm not the general manager. I don't make up players. I'm. You know what? We're playing with house money. I'm going to send him, and it didn't work. He was... Oh, wait a minute. Did I hold, or did I hold him up? I don't know. But there's no out. There didn't look like it was... Oh, yeah. Yeah. He was thrown out. And Oakland is batting now. So they got a man aboard with... No outs. And Scott Brocious is up. And he is going to ground back to McDowell, who's going to not start a double play. So Alex Salata, the shortstop, is up with one down in the man at first. He strikes out. McDowell still got it. And you can see by the bar down here at the bottom, he's still got a lot of, uh, a lot of juice, and we're already in the third inning. And that's going to be a ground out to short to Ozzy Guillen. And that is going to be kind of open in the third. So we go to the uh, bottom of the third in the two nothing lead. And this should be Darren Jackson. And that is a ground. And that brings up Frank Thomas, the big hurt. Nice homer right here would be great, Frank. All right. I don't feel like it right now. And that is an out. So there's two down quickly. Julio down by the schoolyard. He is going to maybe beat it out? No. So again, I think we probably, all the magic that we could plan on happened in the first inning. And we are still up to nothing, which is great. And McDowell is still pitching really well against this Oakland team, although he walks the lead off there at four to bring up Geronimo Barro. It would be a tough customer. <laughs> Did we get him? No, nope, he beat it. So there's a runner at second with two strikes. 
That should be a fly ball. No, it's a single. Holy crap. <laughs> I mean, did, was he even trying to get that ball? All right, so it's two to one. Now it's two to one. We have a problem. And uh, now it's three to two. It's three to two on a home run. So now this Ruben High Sierra. Oakland takes a three to two lead. And now all of a sudden, McDowell can't get anybody out. So uh, no outs, a three two lead for Oakland. And that is a great catch. In the left field. So there's one down, runner at first. And we I think we got him. Yeah, we got him. Karkovice does have a good arm. So there's two down quickly. <clears throat> and Oakland with the lead here in the fourth. Top of the fourth. And that's going to be a, a shallow fly ball, and that'll end the end. But Oakland retakes the lead. And it's 3-2. to two. And uh, Robin Ventura High. Play. And he's going to rip a base hit. That's what we need. We've got we to gotta have base runs. Tim Raines. Tim Rock Raines. Tim Rock Raines hits another base hit. Back to back base knocks. Uh, oh man, we really don't want this ball. Come on. Guys. Hit something. That was an out. So that was a fly ball. Fielder, one down. Ozzy Gian were in the bad part of our line. That's gonna be a fly ball. Now we got the weak hitting. Chris but he does get a base hit, and I gotta send the guy. I've gotta send the guy. I've gotta try to tie the game, and I did. It's three three. I mean, I, I really I had to. So Joey Core is up. He had a leadoff home run. And he hits it right up the middle, but the pitcher grabs it. Pretty up. So it is good that I sent that guy. And we got a tie game, three all in the top of the fifth with McDowell up on the mound. It ground ball back to McDowell and he plays the ball over to Frank. Alex Salado. And uh, he's going to hit a double. I was just about to say, it doesn't sound like this game has a lot of power. Hit a double. Good enough. For that, man at second, one down. Stan Hobby. He's going to fly out to Chris Morgan in center. And uh, that has a good advance. It's deep enough for them to advance. But Ricky Henderson's up. And uh, we're just going to hope he gets Henderson. No. That's going to fall in front of the right fielder. And so. Oakland takes a 4 3. And Geronimo Barroa. Did we get him? No. He's That is going to be a walk. Inside of the walk. Which was not a great idea because now that's a base hit that scores another one. I don't know why I thought a two run lead at the start of the game. But anyway, McDowell is starting to tire now. So we're down 5 3, bottom of the fifth with Darren Jackson. Unfortunately, we're a team that like hit, we live on, live and die by the home run. If we, if we hit home runs, we're going to win. If we don't hit home runs, we're not going to win. Here's Frank Thomas, the big hurt. The big hurt just put a big hurt on that ball and it's 5 -4. So, we are now down by one. And that's the move right there. That's a perfect example. First guy didn't get on. Big hurt, got a hit, and a home run on it, but we got Robin Ventura Highway. And that's going to be a base hit? Yes, it is. He drops the base hit right in front of the center field. And with a 5 4 deficit here for us, we got a man on and Tim Raines. 
he's going to rip a base hit. Rip it. And that's going to put the man on third. So we got a guy 90 feet away from score. The Cardinal is so not a great base. And that's what we want to see. But he pops it up. And we are going to get it. And can still get at least this in. Series. It's one down quickly. And uh, yeah, Chris Morgan grabs that. So there's two down. And that's going to be a pop out to Carcass. So it's up to us to get another run or two on this board and uh, win this game. Go ahead. Amano Bo is still out there. He's going to pitch to Ozzie B. Of course, Oakland, they're thinking the same thing. They want to get as many innings out of their starters as they can. Get a lead off. Uh, base hit by Ian, and that brings up Chris Morgan. Out last inning, and uh, no. Get into a few of his So he is aboard, and Joey Cora is up. Let off the game with a home run, and he's going to beat out an infield single. Nice. Got to have something like that. You got Darren Jackson. And Darren Jackson on the season, he hit 328 with a 373. Did he just hit a three-run homer? No, he hit a double. I'll take it. That should be a lead. That's going to be a triple. Triple for Dan Jackson. Good kidding. So it's 6-5 White Sox with Darren Jackson 90 feet away and only one out and the big herd up. How, how much else do you want? I mean, what else do you want? Are they going to make a change here? They might make a change. Um, oh, I guess it was a something I didn't know about. I'm going to say, I'm going to say yes. Yes, we scored that run. Nice. I don't know how, but it's seven to five, and uh, we got Julio down. And he hits one right down the line. That should be good for him. We got a man in second. Still only one out. No. And up the plate is Robin Venture. Come on. That is going to be an out. But we have we retake the lead. We have a seven to five lead. I think, yeah, I think uh, McDowell has enough for this one. Nice. Yeah, he's reaching back. You can tell he's reaching back. Stan Hobby has it with one left. And that is going to be a base hit. So, good. Uh, Ricky Henderson. That's, we get the lead run and a double. Did we get the double? No. Only got one guy there. Uh, we didn't get the lead second. So a, a man at second, two down, and we're ahead seven. And that is going to be a fly ball. Going into the bottom of the seventh, <coughs> um, they got a new pitcher. Steve Ontiveros is out to pitch against the Rangers. And Rock Reigns hits a fly. One down, and uh, Karkovice up. Karkovice is going to hit a ground ball, and he is out. And now I'm going to go get somebody up in a bullpen. Got to do that. Let's get Roberto Hernandez up in the booth. And uh, Ozzie Guillen. And Ozzie Guillen's going to ground out. I'm going to let McDowell start the eighth. You can see he's still got something left there. So let's let him start the eighth. Ah, he walked the first time. All right. 
he's ready. I'm gonna play. We're not gonna play games. This is the playoffs. We're not letting guys go just to see how long it's going do that during the uh, So he whips him in Steinbach. And that's better. And he whips Steinbach. Yeah. Yeah. There you go, fly ball to right field. And Good kidding. Down that inning for us. We have a two-run lead going to the bottom of the eighth. Chris Morgan is our leadoff hitter. And that's going to be a fly ball to center. And Joey Cora, the leadoff hitter, is going to rip a base hit, and it's going to be a double. Double for Cora. Cora is that which brings up Darren Jackson. Darren Jackson is going to fly out to the center field. Um, you know what? I'm going to say no. We don't need to just hang out. And that's going to be a ground ball and the end of the game. So we go to the top of the night. Roberto Hernandez still has plenty of time. Come on, throw it over there. Yes. He's going to fly out to right. And Stan Javier. Walks out of and now he's gassed, but I'm going to try to get him through this inning. Maybe not. Was, he, let it fall. he was right there. So here is the uh, line score. I'll let you look at the batting averages here, the batting, the you know box score for the batting. We were 16 of 38 at the plate. And uh, he was he was nine of 35, so. And then there's that pitching line. McDowell getting a win, seven innings, eight hits, three walks, and five earned runs, which is not really good. And Hernandez, two innings, one hit, no earned runs. Although I thought he was falling apart, but apparently he wasn't really. And so we have a one nothing lead. I'm going to finish today. And... Uh, <clears throat> You know what? I'm going to simulate this next game because we won the first game, so I'm going to let you see what happens here. And the White Sox lead the series 2-0. Nice. And I'm going to, well, I'm not going to review the ro rotation. But anyway, so we won the second game as well, and you can see now we have a two games to nothing lead over Oakland in the playoffs. And, um... That is, for right now, that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.